Hello YouTube, thanks for clicking on my channel again. This is Hack the Planet. This video today is meant for educators and parents that would like to teach their children about the solar system. I found a really good app on the Google Play Store and I'd like to show it to everybody today. I went ahead and picked up the pro version of this app because I wanted to show you the details without the advertisements. Because I'm using a tripod today and a tablet, I'm going to use a mouse for this video using a micro USB OTG cable that will convert your micro SD port into a full size USB port. If you haven't tried that yet, you can get a 5 pack of these for like $2 off the internet. This app is $1.99 on the Google Play Store. I haven't checked to see if it's also available on Apple devices. This program is from iNove. I-N-O-V-E, so you pronounce it however you think it's supposed to be, uh, S-R-O. This company also has a Rosetta app, and the free version of this same app is available. It's missing some functionality, but it will come with an annoying advertisement banner on the top of the page. So we're going to go ahead and open this baby up, and we'll, we'll see how this works. Here's the Triforce icon for this educational application, and here it is, Solar System Scope. Here we go. This app will allow you to uh, just demonstrate to your, your children, your students, if you're in a classroom, the solar system. And it does have different methods of showing you the system. Uh, it does have a demo mode right here if you don't use any inputs. You can set this thing to have uh, just large representations of the planets along with very circular, compact, tight orbits. Or you can set this app to uh, demonstrate a more realistic look at the solar system and it's nice because you have both methods there in order to um, you know if you wanted to show your children a start I would recommend um, with this setup right here and what's that called again it's the orrery model large size and then um, to, based on what I was saying here's the other choices you can choose from this is the realistic model that places them about where they're roughly where their orbits actually are and um, you also can go back in there and set the size to realistic as well, which will obviously will shrink down everything. And let's go ahead and go back to this so we can see what's going on. You can just look at the uh, solar system from any which direction. You can zoom in on all the planets and you can hide certain aspects of this. You can show the constellations if you like and they'll actually show up in the sky. Um, or you can set this up for the major stars right there. You can show all the stars. And that's a really nice feature. Let's go ahead and scroll in a little bit. Since I'm using the mouse, we'll have to use this. And that's a good look at the solar system. Let's go ahead and click on Earth. And when you zoom in, you'll still see the, the sun in the picture. Uh, the planets do have pretty good effects. Um, so you can, you know, the kids will have a good picture in their head after you show this to them. You can go to structure it'll show you the core of the earth. Now this is a screenshot it doesn't rotate like the others. It'll show the, uh, you can show the moon instead and you still see the other celestial bodies when you do that. See you can see earth right there in the background and uh, you can go back. I really do like the menu system here. They really did a bang up job in creating this model of the solar system you can zoom in on the moons of planets as well and see what it would look like from the perspective of the uh, the moon that you've selected here and you just go back using this button and now let's check out Saturn and you can see all of the uh, Saturn's moons there once again you get a shot of the uh, the hosting planet uh, from the view of, of any moon that you select there are also dwarf planets and you can see their orbits as well which is great you get summaries of the planets you have different slides here that'll tell you about basically just little rundowns about each planet and let's see what we have here yeah here's Ceres yeah, here's Ceres. Um, it really helps make sense of the solar system for youngsters. You can get a look at the night sky as well. You can view all the constellations and, and uh, nearby stars. There are some other things we can do here as well. You can go ahead and put the solar system into motion. 
And as you can see, we'll go ahead and speed it up. That's too fast. And this helps, this can also help children to understand exactly how the planets move in relation to one another. And I would have killed to have something like this as a child. They did a good job. The special effects are pretty good as well the 3D models that they have done here and it just it's a really good now you probably don't want to click on a planet while you're going this fast if it'll even nah it'll stop time if you do that will it let me check here we'll go ahead and, yeah it stops time so you gotta just start it back up this app also has a screenshot mode it doesn't seem to allow you to take a picture but it does remove the uh, the menu system altogether and this I believe is a feature that's only available in the pro version of this app and um, you can always bring up the menu by clicking on that little camera icon I think you can go ahead and place everything in motion as well and then go to the screenshot mode and just move around This app also has a, uh, a soundtrack in the background that has to be enabled. All you have to do is uh, click on the top left where it says Solar System Scope. And then go in here and there's a music checkbox. As far as system settings, it looks like that's it. There's no other menu there other than to turn the music on and off. There's also a magnifying glass icon that can be used to click on any of the uh, available features of this application. Like you can go ahead and shortcut straight to Mercury. And uh, let's see, there it says, it'll probably go to planet right there. And that'll bring you right to the planet. You can also, once you do that, you can quickly select all of the different planets from here on the right. Yeah, this app is only $2, so if you had any cash to spare and you wanted to be able to teach your kids a thing or two and enjoy doing it at the same time, I really recommend picking up the Solar System Scope Pro off of the Google Play Store. You can try it first free with paid advertising. Thanks for watching my video. I hope this has been enlightening. If you liked this video, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks again for coming to my channel. I'll see you next time.